Everybody is talking about Zac Efron and how strange he looks. Has he had plastic surgery to reshape his jawline, Botox, or fillers? I don't think so. I actually think he's had dental surgery, not plastic surgery. That's why he's swollen in these areas. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we'll be talking to you about standout actor Zac Efron and if he responds to jaw surgery rumors. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and turn on the post notifications to not miss a video. It is all about looks for this actor, Zac Efron, who is popularly known for his acting skills in the famous high school musical movie and surely was every girl's then high school crush, maybe even for some guys. How can one ever get enough of his charming features? Zac Efron is an October baby who was born in the year 1987 in California. Having no background in cinemas, his parents were a middle-class family and Efron describes his childhood as a normal one, like any other kid. Getting good grades? Wait, he means getting an A was really important for him. He would stress if he got a B in his exams. Graduating from Arroyo Grande High School, he says he was a total class clown. He was later accepted to the University of Southern California, but did not attend and enroll himself. The acting was waiting as he then attended a community college, Pacific Conservatory of the Performing Arts, which is located in Santa Maria, California. Giving his best there, he performed there for a year in 2001. He is not only good at getting his grades, but also good at serving his looks. However, he is not all about his looks. And as he is a great actor and singer too, the actor and singer had worked in a drama, The Great American Melodrama and Vaudeville, and even took singing classes. Before the movies, he played his part in shows, Gypsy, Peter Pan, or The Boy Who Wouldn't Grow Up, Music Man, and also Little Shop of Horrors. Impressed by his work, his drama teacher recommended him to an agency based in Los Angeles, and he joined hands with Creative Artist Agency. Zach, before his breakthrough, had guest roles on many television series, being a part of Firefly, ER, and The Guardian, he later on started a recurring character on a series called Summerland in his first season. Maybe that's not enough for the views because he was promoted as the main cast in the second season. Guess what? He even earned his first Young Artist Award nomination for playing one of the autistic twins in the television film Miracle Run. Zac Efron rose to stardom soon after leading the role of Troy Bolton in the high school musical which premiered in the year 2006 on Disney Channel. This movie was a modern adaptation of the classic Romeo and Juliet. Alongside him was his Juliet, Vanessa Hudgens, playing as Gabriela Montez. He even showcased his singing skills in a musical comedy movie, Hairspray, in 2007, which was based on a Broadway musical of the same name from the year 2002. And nothing was stopping him since then. He, as an actor, rose to the fame and is a global sensation. He has starred in many movies such as the 2009 hit comedy movie, 17 Again, starring Matthew Perry, in a 2011 film which had many great actors such as Halle Berry, Jessica Biel, Robert De Niro, Ashton Kutcher, Zac Efron, too, was seen. So you know what a great movie New Year's Eve was. Efron was on a roller coaster which was moving fast as he has done many movies. Do you think being on the Forbes list at 21 would be impossible? It was not for Zac Efron. When he made the list and was ranked 92 on the list from the year 2007 to 2008, making his net worth go up and up. He even started his own production company under Warner Brothers, which is called Ninjas Running Wild. What a classic name. Family Affair? Like his brother, Dylan Efron, who has a role in the company and states the company is not only focusing on traditional filmmaking, but also is trying their hand on digital content. There is always a downfall with fame, don't you think? Such was the actor's case. He suffered from alcoholism and drug abuse in early 2013, but he got himself together and treated himself and is sober since. Way to go, Efron. After an unfortunate accident at home, the actor had to have his jaw wired shut after having a terrible fall, which have started many rumors. And it does not take time for the rumors to spread like a wildfire. Since the actor had a fall, some fans want to know whether the actor had plastic surgery or maybe his jaw surgery. Being a celebrity is difficult as everyone notices small things. As a matter of fact, even Lady Gaga is known for her wild fashion, nails, and even the color of her eye shadow. Things were not necessarily easy for Zach when a clip surfaced on the internet in April after promoting Bill Nye's Earth Day musical on Facebook Watch, which shook his fans and asked, who is this man? There were pictures too which showed a huge difference. Living in a world of the internet and social media, things particularly do not stay hidden and trolls or memes stay up. And guess what? His jaw was trending on Twitter with thousands of retweets and trolls rolling in on the weekend. And that was just the start for him. 
as some appreciated the way he looked and the other lot came up, with many memes comparing him to Thanos from the Avengers movie or even Shrek. That is not all his jaw left many wondering, whether he had a botched plastic surgery done or any Botox fillers. Amidst all the memes, there were some positive comments and praise for the actor. Dr. Michael K. Obing says the actor looks very healthy. He might be on some supplements and later on said he also might have had some facial fillers to build his cheeks. Another praise was from personal trainer and physical therapist Natasha Fett said Zach looks great. Due to his build of lean muscle, his body fat is low. According to her, the actor is enhancing his physique by taking testosterone and HGH, which are human growth hormones that help in growing the jaw and cartilage. If you missed this one, there was one where Dr. Ewan, a plastic surgeon who is famous on TikTok for making videos and rating and talking about celebrities, has something else in his mind and said he has not had any plastic surgery or fillers, but as a matter of fact, has a dental surgery and is swollen near his cheeks. Later on, as if you have your wisdom teeth removed, you would know. That is another way to look at the situation. There are even people saying his new looks are a result of his recent breakup with girlfriend Vanessa Baladeres. Well, if that's the case, who knows? Is this all pressure? Can it be pressure for the actor who is always in the spotlight to maintain his looks in this race? Being in Hollywood, we know some actors go under the knife as one and return as someone else. Hopefully, that was not the case with this one. Although it might seem the actor felt a need to augment his looks to maintain a place, an actor who is known for his looks, or better yet, has been born with naturally exceptional features, it felt a need for surgery as a tragedy. Maybe it has nothing to do with his injury back in 2013, or maybe his new look is all him. There are many looks an actor can try. For the actor, it was a cute heartthrob in the early 2000s, a blonde in past years, or even a rugged mountain man in current years. And maybe this is one of the few looks he is trying. Is it a yes, no, or maybe? There are no confirmations yet from the actor about his jaw surgery or any plastic surgery for that matter. He hasn't spoken it or confirmed anything which leaves all his fans in question. But there is support when his friend Kylie Sandilin said, why to bother? And slammed the rumors of plastic surgery. And even if he did, it is his face and can do whatever he feels like. Although he still looks as stunning as he did back in 2006, when he was on the set of High School Musical, and in all honesty, the actor once said he does not care about his look, now as he once before did. His age getting up to him, he revealed how hard it was for him to be perfect and train a lot for the movie Baywatch. He did in the year 2017, alongside actor Dwayne Johnson, or better known as The Rock. Not focusing much on the speculation and not letting that stop him, Zac Efron and Anne Hathaway will soon start working on their new film, Firestarter, in Toronto. We cannot wait to see him in this new horror sci-fi until the actor confirms whether he has his face botched, fillers, or surgery. Do let us know what do you think is better, the old Zac or the new one? Or was it all one dental surgery? Comment down below your views and tell us if you enjoyed this video. We will bring more such videos, so stay tuned and check out our playlist for more celebrity content. See you guys in our next video.